Renee and Connie met in the fifth grade. I was a little shy. Really didn't get to know her until 10th grade. But a year later, the two became inseparable, deeming themselves boyfriend and girlfriend in 1979. Ten years into their relationship, Connie got really sick. I had gone to the hospital and they told me it was the flu. But it wasn't the flu. And then they finally called the nephrologist in and he said, if you don't leave here today, you will die. It was lupus. Connie's kidneys were destroyed by the autoimmune disease, thus the journey to find her new ones began. But after four years of searching, nothing came through. So we decided to expand our horizons. And they had no clue how much good fortune that would bring. They did a workup on me and we ended up being a match. So in 1993, Connie underwent transplant surgery. But 16 years later, that kidney failed. This is the dialysis machine that Renee hooks me up to. Renee is her dialysis technician. This is called cannulation. I have to place two of them in her leg. For the past 10 years, Connie has been on and off of transplant lists. You really have a limited time to get a transplant. Uh, things don't get better with time. So I, I thought I had to do something different. That led to this. The two Jerones received two to five phone calls a week, but... Unfortunately, we haven't found that match yet. Connie is looking for O or B type blood. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, but more importantly, she is looking to get on a transplant list. So if you could help her or if you know someone who can, we have more information on how to contact her on WKBW.com. In Buffalo, Jetty Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.